I can tell you a little bit about uh, like my story. I lost my job because I was working as a restaurant manager, but I didn't have any means of getting food. I was able to get the food stamp program, which, you know, saved me. A big part of the perception problem around SNAP or food stamps is how much money gets spent every year. And a lot of people say, that's an opportunity for us to cut. But I mean, you from your own experience, you know that that's just not the case. You know, I tried to live off of just the money that I got, which was less than $50 a week, and I never made it. Mm. Forget organic vegetables. You can't buy vegetables. There's one, one place in West Chicago, the west side of Chicago, where we went, and in 60 blocks, the only place you could buy food was at a liquor store. It's just horrible, right? It's, it's a horrible thing. Was there anybody else that you ever connected with when you were going through this, or was this a private journey? It was pretty private, you know, it's a little humiliating. There is this stigma that so many people that rely on SNAP and food stamps are, are almost there intentionally, and the majority of people that are actually on the benefit are working. They're just not making enough money to be able to feed their families. You know, we've seen in communities where a family of four has $2 to spend on dinner, and they find broccoli, and, and a head of broccoli is $2, and an eight-pack of instant noodles is a dollar forty-nine. What are you going to put in front of your family of four for dinner tonight? Food access on its own—it's just it doesn't have a lot of power. Access and affordability together is when the sky starts to open up and people see positive change. You know, when I learned about the market match program, that was yeah. salvation because I could get <laughs> fruits and vegetables. I can buy them at the farmers market. I knew where they were coming from. Just being able to have that little bit extra to to buy the healthier food, change their food economy. The interesting opportunity is to take advantage of that shift and really help people that are struggling with poverty actually believe that they can be heroes of a changed food system by really changing the way they spend that money. It's $80 billion a year. That's a very powerful consumer market. So I, I think now is the time.